We are given set S with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 for part A. How many subsets are there total? The number of subsets of set S is equal to the cardinality of the power set of S, which is equal to 2 to the power of n, where n is the number of elements in set S. And because S has 8 elements, the total number of subsets is equal to 2 to the power of 8, which is 256. Another way to think of this is we have 8 elements, and we have to decide yes or no as to whether we include or not include the element in the subset which means for each of the eight elements we have two choices, again yes or no, which would give us two times two times two times two and so on, meaning two to the eighth for the total number of subsets of set S. B, how many subsets have the set with two and three as a subset, which means we're trying to find all the subsets of set S that have two and three as elements. So the form of the subsets would be the sets with the elements of two and three in these subsets, and the remaining elements in the subsets must come from the elements that are subsets from the remaining elements in set S. So these elements here must come from the elements of the subsets of the set that contains the remaining elements from set S, which would be the elements one, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well, this set has six elements, and therefore it has two to the sixth or 64 subsets. So if we take these 64 subsets, take the elements from those subsets, and place them in this blue set, we would have all the subsets of set S in which two and three are elements. So we have a total of 64 subsets of set S in which the set with elements two and three are subsets. Or again, another approach for this would be to take the set with elements two and three in them, and then we have to decide for the remaining six elements, yes or no, as to whether include or not include them in the subset. And again, for each element, we have two choices, yes or no. And two times two times two times two times two times two is two to the sixth, which again gives us 64 subsets. For part C, how many subsets contain at least one odd number? We'll take a different approach on this one. What we're gonna do is take all the subsets, which we know is two to the eighth, and we'll subtract the number of subsets that only have evens, and if we subtract the number of subsets that only have evens, the remaining subsets would have to have at least one odd. To determine the number of subsets with only evens, we'll form a set with elements from set S that are only even, which are two, four, six, and eight. And the number of subsets this set has is two to the fourth, because there are four elements, which is 16. So again, if we take all of the subsets of set S, which is two to the eighth, and we subtract the subsets that only have evens, which is two to the fourth, we'll be left with the subsets that contain at least one odd. And this is 256 minus 16, which is equal to 240. There are 240 subsets of set S that contain at least one odd number. And now for the last example, how many subsets contain exactly four evens? So the form of these subsets, let's just say the first element is even, that's the one even that we have to have, and then the remaining elements in the subset can only be odds, so we have exactly one even, which means these elements here that must be odd must be elements of subsets of the set with elements from set S that are only odd, which are one, three, five, and seven. So we know this set has two to the power of four or 16 subsets. And because there are four evens, there's four ways to select an even, which indicates the number of subsets that contain exactly one even number is four times two to the fourth which is four times 16, or 64 subsets. 
Or again, another approach would be to think of it as where the first element has to be even, and then the remaining elements must be odd, and there are four of them, meaning one, three, five, and seven. For the one, three, five, and seven, we have to decide yes or no as to whether we include them, and there's four ways to select one even, which gives us four times two times two times two times two, which is also 64, with the same result. I hope you found this helpful.